The sun produces all the energy it radiates inside itself, consuming 600 million tons of hydrogen per second, of which 596 are turned into helium. The remaining 4 million tons are converted according to the famous formula E equals mc squared into an almost unimaginable amount of energy, a small part of which will reach Earth. When the dinosaurs were becoming extinct on Earth, the sun's core was producing the energy that is now reaching its surface, from where it travels to us in only eight minutes. The intense radiation from this energy goes in all directions and pulls huge quantities of material with it in the form of electrically charged particles, some negative, some positive. Sometimes there are solar storms that greatly increase the amount of material the solar wind brings to Earth. The Earth has magnetic fields that act as protective shields against these bombarding particles. But these shields have a weak point where they are anchored to the planet, the magnetic fields cannot stop these particles entering the atmosphere. There, they come into contact with air molecules, basically oxygen and nitrogen, which light up on the impact and produce beautiful images on the big screen of the polar skies. The Earth's magnetic poles are, therefore, the focal point to which the solar wind's particles are channeled. These magnetic poles don't always coincide with the geographical ones. Sometimes they are far away from them, and there is evidence that centuries ago, the aurora could be seen from the Canary Islands near the tropics. Inside old television sets and monitors with cathode ray tubes, the same thing happens as when the auroras are produced in the northern and southern skies. Charged particles, in this case electrons, collide at a rate of 50 times a second with the phosphorescent material on the inside of the screen to make it light up in different colors. Technology puts this effect to use in the way it produces images from the signals received through the aerial. But on other planets, there are even bigger screens, like the ones discovered using the Hubble Space Telescope in recent years. With this and other telescopes, humanity is now searching for other planetary systems. Even if we don't find life on those worlds, we will surely see wonders in the phenomenon of the aurora on the countless planets that are waiting to be discovered.